it is Tuesday, December 21st, 2010, and this is your Daily Dose of Reptile News. Now, first of all, I want to explain a little bit about yesterday's announcement. There were, I'm judging from some of the messages I got, not everybody 100% understood it, so I wanted to hit on that real quick here at the beginning. I'm not, I'm going to try to continue going on like we have been going. I just want everybody to know that due to financial reasons, um, it may not be able to continue too terribly much longer. I'm trying. I'm, I'm going through a lot of ideas, talking to a lot of people, um, trying to make it work out. One of the things that we're doing, and, and I just, I want everybody to know that pretty much everything is being explored here to continue this, but one of the things that I'm working on is right now I have just regular Google ads on the website and really nothing here. I think I've got one video that's got ads on it. I don't know, but uh, I, I'm going to start offering uh, sponsorship spots on on not only the videos but on the website and everything and uh, for those people who are gen genuinely interested we uh, we get about between the videos and the website roughly around about 3,000 um, hits a day 2,000 on the website all of the videos together since I started doing this um, generate about a thousand views a day uh, right here on YouTube so um, if anybody's interested the, there's a thing on the website I'll tell you right here I'm, I'm not going to tell you because of those stupid spam people, but I'm going to put it right across the screen here. You can uh, send me an email, we'll talk. And now moving right into the news, apparently um, an alligator poacher in Florida, um, to be more specific, 51-year-old John Bennett has been booked into jail uh, with, uh, I believe it was $5,000 bail in Jacksonville for illegally killing an alligator. Apparently he did not have the proper permits according to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. A state hunting license is not required to hunt for alligators, but they are listed as a species of concern, the American alligator in Florida, and they do require you to get an alligator's trapper's license as well as a tag, and uh, apparently each uh, person is allowed to kill up to two alligators per season. Uh, Mr. Bennett here had no tags, had no trapper's license, and killed and skinned an alligator anyway, according to their investigation. This took place back in May. He is sitting in jail tonight. Uh, bravo to the uh, State of Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission for uh, uh, you know, nailing some of these people that are breaking the law. Uh, it's unfortunate that a lot of us might be faced with a lot of these laws soon, but, um, you know, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I think it's a win for the reptile community, maybe. Anyway, moving right on, apparently this uh, Tagoom, where the hell is Tagoom? What's, apparently this Tagoom family um, were out enjoying their, their front yard when a python dropped out of a tree uh, wrapped around a large possum, and apparently they used a spade and tried to uh, get uh, save the possum at, um, a few times and it was of course a, a futile uh, adventure there so they um, let nature take its course and the snake ate the possum at which time they called somebody to have the snake relocate so uh, yeah there's uh, yeah you know you see the picture whatever um you know anybody if uh, I, I specifically remember Steve Irwin uh, one of his biggest fans of course everybody can argue we're all his biggest fans but um, I remember how he used to preach to uh, you know it's not always comforting to see a fuzzy little creature getting killed by a snake, but we all have to let nature take its course. So, um, yeah, anybody, if you see that happening, don't try to save the fuzzy little creature. Let nature take its course. And lastly, apparently, well, you know, a, a quick warning for people with uh, sensitive stomachs. Uh, the picture that's about to go up here is a little gruesome. It's been fuzzed out, but it's, you know, you've been warned. So, um, yeah, here's a picture. Um, apparently an elderly man went fishing in Borneo where he was, uh, I believe it was in waist deep water when he was fishing where he was promptly snatched up and uh, chewed to bits by a, a crocodile, a 20 foot crocodile for that matter. They, people rushed to the river after being alerted and, and attempted to try to rescue the man but they, they realized by the time they got there it was just too late and as you see here this is a, a relative looking at the remains of the fisherman that was killed by the crocodile. They state that they know crocodiles are in the river but there's, there's rarely an issue they always keep an eye out on them and there was back in the 1970s apparently up to eight people were killed by a crocodile which eluded a uh, capture until they brought in a, a I guess a professional trapping crew or something to take care of the crocodile. So again, you know, a little piece of advice. If you live around waters that have 20 feet, 20 foot long crocodiles in them, do not venture waist deep in the water to do your fishing, I guess is uh, 
you know, you, uh, yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. It's stupid. Don't do it. Um, fish from the damn bank. And of course, I can't leave you without a question of the day. And that question is, what do you think about Mr. Pinnock sitting in jail for uh, killing the uh, the, uh, the American alligator there in Florida without his proper tags and permits and, we, you know, without following due process that the rest of us are expected to follow? What do you think about that? Leave a text comment or a video response. And of course, if you'd like to read any more about any of these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other.